church family, my name is Faith Grosshands and I work in the student department. I wanted to share one verse with you that's really been sticking on my heart, but before we get into the passage, I wanted to give you some context of what's happening with Israel. So think back to King Nebuchadnezzar. At this time, he's pushed the Israelites out of their homeland. They are suffering and they are missing where they were once living. Now fast forward a little bit, we have King Cyrus who ends up letting the Israelites go back into their homeland and he actually encourages them to rebuild their temple. And so under the leadership of Zerubbabel, the Israelites begin to rebuild the temple that Solomon once had built that had been destroyed. Now once the foundation of the temple had been laid, scripture talks about how there's kind of two parties here. One group is celebrating, they're so excited to be able to have this temple began to be rebuilt, while this other group, they begin to mourn. They're so um, sad because they're looking at this foundation going, this temple is a lot smaller than the one that Solomon had built, and they just begin to mourn because they're going, Gosh, it's so small, it's not as grand how we're gonna worship the Lord. And scripture says that you hear this rejoicing, you hear this mourning, and it's, it's so loud that you can't even distinguish the mourning from the rejoicing. Now, we at this time have the prophet Zechariah. Now, Zechariah in chapter four, verse 10, it says, for who despises the day of small things? And this is the prophet's response to the people of Israel who are mourning this small temple, seemingly small temple to them. And he's looking at them going, hey, listen, our God is a God who delights and who is so capable to do big and extravagant things. But at the same time too, he's a God who loves the small details. We see that our God delights in small things, especially in this Christmas season, as we celebrate the birth of a, a small child who would go to do great and mighty things, things that would affect our salvation and our relationship with God for eternity. And something that I also love in Zechariah 4, 6, through the first part of 7, it says, See, he answered me. This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by strength or by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord of armies. What are you, great mountain? And so here we see the prophets going, even in these small things, we as feeble people are still relying on the strength of the Lord, even in the small things. We need him in, in the large and the small things. And so church, I want to encourage you this week as you're going out and, and fulfilling the call that God has placed on your life, even in those small, simple things, God is showing up and don't be afraid to show up and give him all the glory because he is so worthy of it in the big days in the small days and everything in between he is working and deserves all of our honor and praise.